Welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have Barrel and Blade. Came in a different box than normal. Um, it's just a plain, as you can see right here, plain box. Nothing special about it. Um, wasn't too sure. Haven't seen any videos yet on YouTube about what's coming up in this box. Um, currently I'm building a PC, so I'm kind of not really... Um, spending as much money on boxes. I don't want to, you know, blow all this money on boxes or buy all these boxes. Um, if they want to send them to me, send it to me, you know, hook them up. Um, so we'll get right into it. I'm going to make it short and sweet. Um, I do know kind of what's in the box. I wanted to make sure I was all set up for today. Uh, move the camera, move the light so that you'll be able to see stuff better. As you can see, bam, operation. Oh, the lights will get you right there. Um, operation into the woods. So, um, I like to read off the card so you get exactly what is in here. So I'm going to start off with, so I see what's everything that's in here. Um, the first thing in this bag is a Rothko map and document case. So if the grid goes down at yourself and your or your cell phone dies, what do you do? If you put your local map in this weather resistant map case, you don't skip a beat. These keep your map and documents safe and dry. So let's see. Um, one thing I have noticed with Barrel and Blade is they're legitimate different companies. They're not like um, uh, Battle Box. I've seen they, it's a lot of their own kind of stuff, which is not bad. A lot of it's good. Um, but this is different. So, um, this is it right here. So it's R Rothko. Never heard of them, but you never know. Oh, and I like that. So it literally doesn't even, you don't have to tear this off. It comes right out of it. Um, maybe not as easy as I thought. All right. So here's your little pouch right here. It has it all waterproof on the inside. And then take her, fold her up, wrap her up like that. Oh, it actually has a... Uh... So it has the pieces here, too. That's weird. Oh, wow. So on the inside is actually bags. So this is what you're putting your map material in right here. So you're putting a map. That's weird, though. It's got vent holes on this, too. So I'm thinking, basically, it's, it's weatherproof. Because they both have holes in them, so it's probably designed to where if water does get into it, it doesn't um, seal up in there. Because I know if you do that, you can have a lot of problems. Uh, but I mean, it folds up really nice and compact. Probably not now that I did all this stuff to it, but no, no there it goes. Uh, let's get it right. Bam, cinch it down. I mean, and that's that's the size of it right there. So nice and compact. Uh, I'm actually going to keep that out with the other stuff. I have a big garbage box over here. So I put all my garbage from the boxes that I unbox and I put it in one spot. Um, the next item we have is an Aquamira water filter straw. Um, so the first, so the, the, the document case MSRP is 19.99. The water straw, water filter straw, re retails for 12.99. See where it's at? All right, right here. So it's Aqua Marina. So you have it right there. So I'm assuming it's basically like. Um, I don't even know if I want to open it. So, it says blue line protection removes cryptos, poridium, gerardia, and biotoxins such as microcystin. Increase capacity, filter 50% more water than previous design. Lightweight, compact, one ounce portable protection. And then, um, I'm trying to see. It doesn't say anything about single use or anything like that. So it's something about 30 gallons. So maybe it has a maybe it limits how much you could filter through it. Eh, let's just open it up. If I have to, I'll buy another one. Because you can never uh, be too prepared, correct? Um, 
and now this is not going to open because I think I, it tore too short. All right, well, just go for it. Handy dandy teeth. Don't have any knife on handy on me. Oh wow, there's instructions and everything in here. So that's weird. There's like glue all over it on the end of it. I don't think that's supposed to be there. But uh, it is what it is. So this is what it looks like right here. Here's the actual filter piece. And then obviously you put the straw in the end here. So it's similar to that live straw. Um, I don't know. With the glue on the end of it, I don't know if I would try it. But obviously, I mean, obviously... I'm going to get worse stuff. So I may have to try drinking through it and see if it tastes any different too. So maybe you'll see in the next video if I'm alive, if I don't die from doing it. Maybe there's uh, something in there. But there's a lot of there's a lot of cautionary, do not hand or filter straw with wet hands that have been exposed to contaminated water. Do not submerge filter to the straw in contaminated water. Do not freeze filter or export filter stream temperatures. Do not use with water that is microbiologically unsafe or unknown quality without adequate disinfection before or after the system. Hmm. It's interesting. So it seems as though it's just like a basic, like you don't want to do anything crazy with it because then you might get sick. So take that as you will. Uh, the next one is the Brunton True Arc 3 Compass. So this is the best base plate compass in its class. It is a classic yet yeah, modern scouting tool Brunton reliability, a true arc rollable needle, a tool free destination adjustment makes this compass essential on any trail. If the grid goes down, this will be your lifeline for navigation. So here we have right here. Oh, we'll see how that light's going to go. We tested it out earlier and it worked fine. Maybe it's because of the color of it. There you go. There's the compass. Oh, I can do a little bit of an angle. Okay. Pull her out. See how it's set up. All right. You got some paracord. A little bitty. Not even paracord. Just regular cord. And then... Slide her out. So it's not a bad little compass. Has a ruler on both sides as well. So there's the compass right there. Pretty simple. Um, I don't have any compasses. I used to have a bunch of them. They used to come in a lot of the tools that I would get, like wrench, and stuff like that. So, not wrench, um, like, uh, I'm trying to think, what would it be? Like, I think it was a pocket knife I had that had one, something else, I can't remember. Um, let's make sure this isn't one of the ones that you have to register kind of stuff. There's a card. It says, congratulations with purchase, user manual online. I do like that for a lot of these survivalist things because some people are new to this. I'm new-ish to it. Um, I'm not saying I'm like a, you know, some sort of doomsday prepper or stuff like that. But there's certain things that I do hoard, like bottled water, because I do go through a lot of it. So it's not just because it, I, I always like to have a certain amount on hand, whatever. But um, these online manuals... I think they help people so much because you never know, you know, what if you get something and you don't know how to use it? So all the manuals are pretty, pretty handy. Um, the next thing is the Smith pack pal, tinder maker and fire starter 1199 MSRP. So the compass was a 1699 MSRP. So I saw this when I was going through it right now. And that's just pretty cool. Um, so basically carry this with you. And it has the piece on it, so you just grate the wood. So you make your own tinder. This is pretty awesome, and it comes with a striker as well. So um, you're not just getting, you know, this. So you have the fire starter and the striker with it in the package. So here's the fire starter, here's the striker. So it's a package deal, and it looks like they're actually all tethered together. So this actually, I think, is an amazing thing. Um, aside with some people, they have like liquid starter stuff like that. I think it's great to have in your package. Um, 
Next thing, we have the Wazoo Survival Tracking Bandana. And these are actually... Um, wait, what's this? This one doesn't list. This is weird. Hmm. I don't know why that's in there, but okay. The next one that's listed on here is the... Uh, oh, it's the Wazoo Survival. Okay, sorry, I got sidetracked because I saw that extra package in there. Um, the Wazoo Survival Tracking Banana. And I actually like this. So I've seen these in surplus stores. And basically, we have it right here. Here's the bandana. I'll show it as far back as possible. And it has basically all these different animal tracks on it so you can tell with you, when you have it with you if you're seeing certain things i don't know when i'm going to see a virginia uh possum or some of these other things but i mean american beaver uh cottontail eastern gray squirrel i mean they got you name it deer mouse nine banded armadillo shout out to connor from concon's cantina who i didn't know they have armadillos in uh florida Apparently, they're tearing up his yard, so now I know they have armadillos in Florida, so awesome. Um, that had an MSRP of $15, and I do know those ones actually surprisingly are expensive because of everything on it, um, so something kind of cool. Next, we have the Fiskars Axe Sharpener, $14.49 value, and I'm, I'm not going to say it's, 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 a, it's a sharpener. There you go. Plain and simple. Um, oh, it just says the sharpening compartment opens easy. Um, I do like, um, how you do have the ability to hold on kind of bigger there. So I'm assuming the package that we got, the big one in here is that, but I got this in here. Um, I'm going to look to see if anybody else got this in the package. Cause it's not, I don't see. Hmm. It's not on either level. So it's a behemoth stormproof sweet fire. Uh, it's not anything on here. There's no MSRP. It says it's made from sugar cane. So basically it's a fire starter right there. And I like these. We'll use these camping probably. So these are pretty awesome. I'm going to have to get my bag filled with all my camping stuff. So we do go camping. We don't go camping, camping. We stay in the trailer, but um, we do go to this parks where you, you know, you have your bonfires and stuff like that. So I guess I got that in there for some reason. Now the big item. Right over there. So I've had three boxes and I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of ax because they're the sharpener. Um, I, like I said, I haven't seen anyone else open this box, so, um, we're going to see what's in it, and, of course, I don't have a knife on my table right now, so, let's see what I got in my pockets, let's pop it open with this baby, and, mind you, CRKT is going to be, basically, experts at taping this shut which every other package I've gotten from them have just slid open. But I'm assuming it's an axe, so it needs to be properly secured. Oh, wow. Wait, what? So you need to put it together yourself? I don't like that. But this wood handle is a beautiful. This doesn't do it justice. I'll put it on the Instagram for FOMOcast. Um, yeah, you put it together yourself. I've never seen anything like that. I don't even know how. That's crazy. It says installation instructions. So there actually is instructions on how to install it. Remove axe handle from the box. Place the axe head in the small end of the handle. Slide the axe down. Set the handle and tap repeatedly. Oh, wow, that's all you have to do. 
Hmm. So basically what they're saying, there's no need to do anything else, but take it, make sure you put it on the right way. I'm becoming a bigger fan and bigger fan of axes, so oh, be careful with that. The safety guard just comes right off, so no, if you don't unwrap it properly, you might have a problem with that. So let's put this back on. There we go. So they say you do is, if you take it like this, you bang it on a hard surface and that secures it. But this is the axe it is. Um, it actually shows it has that gap like that. But the wood on this is just phenomenal. The video doesn't do it justice, I know. Um, but it is the wood T-Hawk axe handle. And it says on here, it's Novo Tactical Design. So it's a beautiful axe. I'm going to tell you that right now. I really, really like it. It's... Um, a lot cooler than the other ones I've gotten. Well, actually, no, the other ones, I'm not going to lie, the other ones are pretty cool, too. Um, and I got a couple of CRKT knives. How to spice up your MRE. This is kind of funny. They have a knife in here, and it's telling you how to spice up your... <laughs> That's pretty cool. So they, um, I do think that they have a kind of a more ingenious campaign when it comes to uh, doing stuff, CRKT does. Because um, the other knife that I got from them was just different it wasn't the same as anything i've gotten so i really appreciate this i like this axe i'm hoping for a knife next time maybe because i think this is this is my third axe so i got the sog axe i got um the other one from battle box the big axe so um i'll take this to go play with in the back in our little pasture and chop up some wood i'll have to bang this out later it basically says to take it like that and tap it down i think the weight of itself actually pops that in so um, they did good this time. Um, I 100% think I could use everything from this box. Um, I'm going to definitely use a lot of the fire starting stuff the next time we go camping. You know, I don't like using newspapers and stuff like that. Um, and we do bring wood with us. So when we start a little bonfire, we're going to have plenty of stuff to, to use. So this is pretty cool. And I got something to sharpen the blade with, too. So, we'll see. I'll find out about this. I'm still surprised by this, the fire starter stuff. Because there's nothing nothing in here about it. There's nothing even... I, I don't know. Maybe it's a press thing they just threw in there for it. I don't know. But uh, make sure to check us out. Uh, we have a podcast. usually drops Fridays, um, if I remember. Uh, and we are on Facebook.com. And you search FOMO cast. We're also FOMO podcast on Instagram, FOMO underscore cast on Twitter. Uh, you found us on YouTube. And then also make sure um, we do game every once in a while. Tim and I from the podcast at uh, fb.gg slash FOMO cast gaming. You can also find us on, what was it on, uh, on TikTok. We're on FOMO cast gaming. I share some of it's my kid. A lot of it's um, some gaming highlights. So if you want to check that out, let us know. Um, we greatly appreciate everyone who likes and subscribes to the channel. Um, leave some comments down below. I know I need to improve on a lot of different things because I'm freshly new at all this stuff, but uh, greatly appreciate it. And um, make sure you look in future because short bar force should be coming soon. That's my favorite box. Um, Barrel and Blade is becoming closely to the top for me um, just because the fact that it's themed this time and a lot of it can be used like the document holder. I could put anything in there. You know, um, when I used to do trail riding on the quad or the AT or the side by sides or a dirt bike, you know, you could use these for the parks when you're going through the hills and you don't want to get lost. So it has great multiple uses. So. Um, and obviously a compass, you never can go wrong with a compass. You never know when you're going to need it. So, uh, again, barrel and blade, hands down, it's a great box. I would get it if you could. Um, I'm going to try and get maybe hopefully some codes for something because I've been trying to do that. But um, the channel needs to take off a little bit more. So, um, thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.